Hello and welcome to the second year statistic course with QGIS on R. The topic of this course is exploratory data analysis, bivariate analysis. This is lesson six, and today the subject is going to be multiple regression analysis part two. To start, we are going to see a small reminder about what we did in the previous lesson. At the beginning of the previous lesson, we started creating some scripts to facilitate the visualization of the spatial data distribution. Next, we created uh, several scripts to make the multiple regression analysis for a trend surface of first order and also for a trend surface of second order. In the second case, we was working with raw polynomials and orthogonal polynomials in order to face the problems related to the multicollinearity. Later, we created some scripts to extract the residuals and predicted values from our models. However, we didn't extract it any value because that one is going to be part of the lesson six. At the end of the lesson, I did a small introduction about Kriegen interpolation and why we need to do the multiple regression analysis in order to get the trend surface and also the residual values to make the proper uh, Kriegen interpolation. That was a short reminder about what we did in lesson five. Now let's see what we are going to do in lesson six. In lesson six, we are going to start adding extra scripts for the multiple regression analysis. We are going to add the third order trend surface for raw polynomials and also for orthogonal polynomials. Then we are going to see the scripts that we are going to use to extract the residuals and predicted values from the different models and how we can add those values to the attribute table in QGIS. The next thing that we are going to do is the creation of scripts that are going to help us to create graphs where we are going to visualize the 3D models related to the residual values and also the trend surface. The good thing about these graphs is that we can change the vertical and also the horizontal angle in order to have different perspective of our models. Then we are going to do a full analysis related to the first order trend surface. We are going to do a univariate analysis and also bivariate analysis. We are going to see the histogram, the QQ plot, the test of normality, the scatter plot, the residuals against the predicted or fitted values. And also we are going to see a kind of uh, bubble map that is going to help us to recognize if there is any kind of pattern on the residual values. Next, we are going to be working a little bit with the second order trend surface to see how the surface look like and also what is the relation with the residual values. Then we are going to extract the residual and predicted values for the second and third order trend surface and we are going to add those values to the attribute table. At the end, we are going to compile all the information from the three models, first, second, and third order trend surface, and we are going to compare all of them with the histograms, with the QQ plots, test of normality, regression analysis, scatter plots, residuals versus uh, fitted values to see if there is any trend in the residuals, and also with the bubble maps. The goal is to have enough information to decide what is the best model for our data set. 
The important thing with this course is not related with the final result of this exercise. The important thing is to learn what is the methodology of the work. What is the workflow when you want to apply Krigin interpolation? What steps you have to follow? That is the most important thing because in this case we apply the exploratory data analysis for a groundwater elevation. But you have to understand that you can apply uh, this analysis for any kind of parameter, right? And the important thing, it's not the final result of this exercise. The important thing is to know how to do it for any type of variable. That's, that's the goal of this course. Well, that's it for lesson six. Remember that this course, it's not available in YouTube. If you want to have access to the course, just go to the GeoRGB community website at gscourse.online, go to courses, then you can get enrolled in this course for a price of $30. Actually, we have uh, six lessons in this course with a total of uh, more than four hours of content. When you get enrolled in these courses, you can uh, get access to the scripts that we are using in the lessons. As you can see over here, you can download this document. And also, I would like to tell you that I'm going to add one more lesson for this course. It's going to be the last lesson. And that lesson is going to be related to data transformation because we didn't talk anything about data transformation. Then after that, the course is going to finish, okay? With a total of seven lessons. Then when I finish the course, I'm going to, to increase the price of the course, okay? That is your last chance to get this course for a quite affordable price of $30 because this price is going to increase to the double, I, I believe, okay? Because it's very worth it. I dedicated uh, a lot of hours and I believe it's a really good course, okay? In any other place, you are going to pay more than $200 to have uh, something similar to this one. And I believe even you are not going to find any course related with the integration of R in QGIS. Then it's something very original and unique. Also remember that we have a Facebook page. You can come here to visit us. The name of the Facebook page is GeoRGB Community, as you can see over here. Here I'm posting some things that you are not going to see on the YouTube channel or also at the uh, website, okay? Well, that's it for today. Thank you very much for watching this video and see you on the next lesson.